reaffirm and uphold the human dignity and human rights under which nations in common cause more than seven decades ago formed this institution? Will we apply and strengthen the core tenets of, inter of the international system, including the UN Charter and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, as we seek to shape the emergence of new technologies and deter new threats? Or will we allow these universal, those universal principles to be trampled and twisted in the pursuit of naked political power? We're back at the table in international forums, especially the United Nations, to focus attention and to spur global action on shared challenges. We are re-engaged at the World Health Organization and working in close partnership with COVAX to deliver life-saving vaccines around the world. We rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement, and we're running to retake a seat in the Human Rights Council next year at the UN. And as the United States seeks to rally the world to action, we will lead not just with the example of our power, but God willing with the power of our example. As we pursue diplomacy across the board, the United States will champion the democratic values that go to the very heart of who we are as a nation and a people. Freedom, equality, opportunity, and a belief in the universal rights of all people. It's stamped into our DNA as a nation, and critically, it's stamped into the DNA of this institution, the United States. We sometimes forget I quote the opening words of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, quote, the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. The founding ethos of the United Nations places the rights of individuals at the center of our system. And that clarity and vision must not be ignored or misinterpreted. The United States will do our part, and while no democracy is perfect, including the United States, we'll continue to struggle to live up to the highest ideals to heal our divisions. And we face down violence and insurrection. Democracy remains the best tool we have to unleash our full human potential. <clears throat> My fellow leaders, this is a moment where we must prove ourselves, the equals of those who come before us, who with vision and values and determined faith in our collective future built our United Nations, broke the cycle of war and destruction, and laid the foundations for more than seven decades of relative peace and growing global prosperity. Now, we must again come together to affirm the inherent humanity that unites us is much greater than any outward divisions or disagreements. I know this. As we look ahead, we will lead. We will lead on all the greatest challenges of our time, from COVID to climate, peace and security, human dignity and human rights. But we will not go alone. We will lead together with our allies and partners and in cooperation with all those who believe as we do,